afternoon. Welcome to a, an eerily quiet Chiron here in the southwest of France. I was just looking at the weather forecast for London uh, and currently it's uh, 27 degrees, um, which sounds absolutely toasty and lovely for a, uh, a sunny summer's day. Um, yeah, I'd never thought I'd want to swap <laughs> with London <laughs> uh, because right now out here I'm kind of melting. Uh, it's currently 40 degrees and extremely unpleasant and as someone that has mowed lawns for a living for years and years and years this is what I class as bad weather. <laughs> So I just came out a little bit earlier to take some uh, video of the garden and uh, yeah things are starting to wilt as you can imagine and yeah it's going to take me a while I think to get re uh, get used to um, get used to summers here in uh, France and uh, if you do live a little bit further south than the Chiron perhaps towards Bordeaux uh, it's even warmer apparently um, and we're set for three days of toasty weather and it's not just toasty it's it's almost like you can't do anything <laughs> do you know what I mean you are completely you know disabled by it when you're not used to this kind of weather I have experienced um, hot weather before I experienced 47 degrees in in Egypt many many years ago over 20 years ago and basically you just spent the day in the pool well, I haven't got a pool and uh, I've got no plans to get one either so uh, yeah the garden it's going to be a bit of a head scratcher. Yeah, I'm wandering around thinking what's going to die and what's going to live. And um, I think that's going to be my plan going forward is to actually plant the garden with plants that can cope, cope really well in these conditions. And uh, as for getting animals, holy moly, this is always in the back of my mind when, I, when people say, to me, oh, you should have chickens, you should have this, you should have that. It's all right when the weather's just hunky-dory, but when you get summer <laughs> like this I mean I look at I look at the local sheep and I think how are you coping but I just guess they just get on with it I haven't got a lot of choice over there apart from just curling up and dying um, so yeah not really getting a lot done uh, I've been thinking about doing some bits and pieces in the house as you can imagine uh, so we'll have a little look inside I'm just uh, looking up at my uh, chimney so yeah look the chimney um, got a bit of an issue really with that with that ladder The ladder is about 11 inches wide and not really designed not really designed to be worked on i think it's more of an inspection ladder someone pointed it out to me in the comments section on a previous video go up have a look come back down put the ladder away so the idea of spending a few hours up there trying to sort out my situation with the chimney um fills me with dread and i'm pretty sure I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to think of a plan B. Um, yeah, if you look at the top of the chimney, there's like a sheet of corrugated um, galvanised metal. And that's been up there, I'm going to guess, for 25 years. And I'm thinking maybe while I've got this ladder, I can just replace that metal with a new piece. I think I do have a small piece of galvanised metal that I could unscrew that one, unbolt that one because the bolts aren't completely rusted. Maybe if I could unbolt it and uh, transfer the holes onto the new sheet. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, situation is I've had that ladder for a week now and achieved absolutely nothing. So it seems I'm borrowing it. I'm going to have to give it back and I'm going to need to get my trailer out of the garden uh, in the next couple of days to go and do a job. So the ladder's going to have to come down anyway. So that's a bit of a head scratcher. Yeah, as for doing a job, that doesn't really seem that appealing in weather like this. Yeah, actually, I don't tend to uh, I don't tend to get a lot done for customers when it's about more than 32 degrees. That's normally my line. So 39, 40 degrees. Yeah, I won't be being that busy. I think um, I think it's going to get much cooler towards the weekend, but it's only Monday. So I thought I'd um, just have a quick uh, look at what I'm thinking about in the house seems I'm stuck in. So I've uh, been getting used to my kitchen, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. And uh, it's so nice to have, so nice to have so much more space to work. Um, but I still have my wardrobe in here because this used to be my bedroom. Uh, and so the wardrobe 
Uh, I'm sure there's a video of me taking it apart. Uh, the wardrobe's gonna have to come out of here and go elsewhere. So we'll just have a little wander and see where it can go because I'm in a situation now where it can go, <laughs> it can go there and nowhere else. Let's just turn that light on. So yeah, all that time and effort I spent <laughs> doing that uh, tongue and groove. Um, yeah, that's gonna get hidden I think because I cannot find another spot for my big wardrobe. And to be honest, I'm not even sure I need that big wardrobe, but it's quite a sentimental old thing. I've had it for a long, long time. And uh, where the sink is, I think that's, uh, that's gonna come this side. And you can see the side of the chest of drawers and that chest of drawers is gonna come and live this side. So this area here, it's going to become kind of like an extension to the bedroom. It's going to be a, um, it's going to be like a dressing area, you know, with the wardrobe there and the um, chest of drawers there. And I think I could, I don't know, I've had an idea that I could paint everything in the same color as the bedroom, uh, which was like a really light gray color and have this whole area going all the way down towards the bathroom, um, all the same color as the bedroom. And I think it'll actually feel a bit like a kind of a, you know, like a, a suite, like a more of a hotel type suite. Uh, and then I'm left with the situation, which I've been thinking about for, well, two years, is what I'm gonna do with this area here. And I did actually mark out on the floor in some tape where I could put a doorway at a jaunty angle, obviously, because the wardrobe would fit in that corner. But I'm thinking perhaps perhaps a pair of doors or some kind of wall situation just going across there to the left of the light switch on the wall and the wardrobe does actually fit perfectly in that space just to the right of that light switch unfortunately I'm going to be covering up my sockets which is a bit of a nuisance and I'm going to have to use that power and bring it up uh, up across the ceiling and bring it into the living room so I've got power into this side of the living room. Anyway, just a quick catch up from me. Just thought I'd show you what I'm thinking about. I'm probably gonna have to take that wardrobe to pieces. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. The house isn't super hot. It's 24 degrees in here, wherever the uh, temperature gauge is. And in the bedroom, it's 25 degrees which I'm surprised it's warmer in there. Seems that's really well insulated. Although the chimney is in there uh, and I'm guessing the chimney is absorbing some of the heat from the sun and uh, bringing that heat into the house. Uh, so yeah, loads and loads to think about in the house. I've got to think about ventilation. Got all sorts of ideas going on with extractor fans and uh, inline fans and ducting. I've got all sorts of ideas that I was whizzing around inside my head. Um, but I'll talk about that in another video. Thank you, as always, for all your amazing support and uh, your lovely comments. See you later.